Well, hello. I pray that you're having a great day today. Yes, it's that time of the, of the day. I am giving my little friendly reminder for you to join me tonight for Bible study. In times like these, praise God, have you ever seen a day like today? I'm, listen, with all the things that's going on, I'm telling you right now, I'm grateful that I'm saved. I'm grateful to be a Christian. I'm grateful, my friends. I'm thankful for a biblical worldview. I would be in trouble. Matter of fact, I'd have a six pack uh, or, 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 or drinking co Corona or Hennessy or whatever or something to help me cope with these times if I didn't have a biblical worldview and I didn't know the God of the Bible. But because I do, instead of a beer or some mind altering drug or uh, trying to get to the cannabis store or anything like that, uh, visiting the ABC store, instead of that, those things, I have a peace which passeth all understanding. I have a joy that is real and there is an overall feeling of well-being. I know that because I trust God, all is well. And what's the worst that can happen? The worst is if I don't wake up in the morning. Everything will be all right. What a mighty God we serve. I'm excited about teaching the word of the Lord tonight. As a matter of fact, I tell you, uh, I can hardly wait. And we're going to walk in the scriptures and I'm going to turn you. Yes, I'm, I'm telling you, I am, I am working. I'm doing everything I can to convince you to think. Uh, uh, see and reason with your mind filled with scripture. Yes, the scriptures. I know that they're telling us uh, to listen to science. I know that they're telling us to listen to this politician or that politician. But I tell you, my friends, I'm pointing you to the God of the Bible. I'm pointing you to the word of the Lord. Uh, Patrick Henry said this about the Bible. He said, the Bible is worth all all other books, all other books which have been printed. I agree with him 100%. Whatever you're reading, if it's not the Bible, close that book and get the word of God and, and, and get in the word and read it and get in a Bible preaching and Bible teaching church where that preacher is an expositor, where he can expound on the scriptures word for word, sentence by sentence, teach you and teach you the word of the Lord. And then when you hear the word of the Lord, you apply it. And the word of God, the word of God, my friends, is going to see you through. Now, I want you to join me tonight. Join me tonight. I want to tell you to meet me here, but you know, unfortunately, we're still under a lockdown. So, if I was preaching tonight at Costco's, maybe that's where should, I should go, Gary. Go to Costco's, uh, Walmart, uh, go to the ABC store, go to an abortion clinic, go to places, go to any, either of those places, and guess what? You could hear me in person. We could social distance, and it doesn't matter. Maybe I should go to a grocery store and preach at the grocery store, and because uh, you notice people are in there touching on all, all of the fruit, the vegetables, the milk, the cans, the the, uh, uh, the cartons, and you name it. Oh, hands everywhere, and yet. And yet these places are open for business and I'm still, according to this governor, this, the word of God, the word of God, the preaching of the word, people gathering to hear the word of the Lord is still on the non-essential list. Can you believe it? I want you to know, Brother uh, Governor Roy Cooper, I'm praying for you. I'm praying that God opens your eyes, that the Lord softens your heart. Uh, and now listen, I understand safety. I get it. I want to remain safe. I understand uh, uh, being well and being prudent and being wise. 
I think one of the wisest, most prudent things that God's people can do is to come together. Oh, we could social distance. We could do whatever we need to do. We're, our church is clean anyway. We, 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 we keep the facilities clean and we know how we, we can, we can worship without shaking hands, without doing the high five or the low five or whatever we have to do. Praise the Lord. Uh, but for us to, to just, I mean, we're still on the non-essential list. And I understand that you can have an outside service, but you, but uh, I guess Christian people, church people, don't have the intelligence that grocery store people, that uh, liquor store people, um, that Costco's and uh, Walmart people, I guess those people don't go to church. You know, we those people have the ability to go in and out and social distance and do all of the things that's required, and they're just fine. But when it comes to the church, I guess church people are, we are retarded. I guess we're stupid. We're dumb. Oh my. We're silly. There's something wrong. So you got to protect us. We can't worship because you got to protect us. You got to make sure you keep us safe because we can't keep ourselves safe. We don't have the intelligence to uh, attend church, social distance and worship our Lord. So, until we, uh, uh, or at least until the governor decides that we've grown up, I want you to get your devices ready. Join me tonight. Praise the Lord. We will be on Facebook Live and YouTube Live teaching the word of the Lord with power and authority. And the Lord is going to bless us real good. So my friends, join me tonight. Join me tonight for... Bible study. That's it. Join me right here for Bible study. May God's choice blessings be yours and do make it a great day.